No public ticket sales due to COVID concerns. Spectacular basketball arena. Let's check out our Kubota starting lineups for HC to Elon, dynamic big band duo of Chuck Hanna, Simon Wright, each co-captain to come up big for the Phoenix is being inserted into the starting lineup. When you ask, the start of the seven-game win streak, Valentine's Day against Charleston for Drexel. Four players score double 50. He wants to fill that void and bring Elon to its first ever big dance this year. Roger Ayers, Ted Valentine, Tim Comer, the encore officiating crew. And here's Drexel. First half court possession with Winter. Elon starts up man to man, which they play 95% of the time. And Winter through traffic. Early whistle. And a foul call. Drexel does a great job with their dribble penetration. Elon's got to stay in front of him. It's got a big key. Here we go. Nice penetration. First team all league. Cam Winter. Early foul by Kenneth Laduba. Star guard of Elon. The backcourt, the front court. Both courts, coach. <laughs> it's all courts. They're all court players. Well, Phoenix in this run of the championship game. Yep. Xavier Bell out of Kansas. Drives way too strong there at Laduba. They transfer from Bryant with a rebound. How about Laduba? The little guy got 10 rebounds last night. Rebound for Butler. Drexel trying to own the elbows. As Zach Spiker told us today. There's Winter, former Colonial Rookie of the Year. DJ Bickerstaff, grandson of Bernie, nephew. JT, the head coach of the Cavaliers. Has his touch, has his two. He's tough, Dave. 6'9", about 225. Very talented guy. Can put on the deck, score inside or outside. Six points, 11 rebounds for Bickerstaff. Semi-final win here last night. McIntosh floats in the paint. Too strong on the righty runner. Off the back iron. Track down rebound from Simon Wright, the co-captain. Nice battle between McIntosh and Cam Wright. Two point guards. Chuck Hanna. High-low play. McIntosh finishes. The ball inside now. The ball to Butler. I think you can hurt him inside. You don't get the ball to the big guy early in the game, Dave. They go on strike. They stop playing. Zach Walton has had a fantastic tournament. Well, for Winter, thinking three ball short this time from way outside the arc. Not a good shot. Contested three. Burford on the move. Looking for the righty runner off the glass. Can't connect. Thicker staff to rebound. Pretty good family connections with JB, the head coach of the Cavs. Yep. Bernie, longtime NBA coach and executive. Wow. Yep. That's a lineage coach. Yep, no question. Bernie's a legend. All levels in the NBA. Ton of success. Right start of the year with long flowing locks. Cut his hair before the season started. All right, you gotta watch it. Samson did that, he got trouble. <laughs> the Juba pulls up and hits. And then the team had the eight game losing streak and a joke around the Elon program. Simon, grow your hair back. We need those long locks back. But since he's been in the starting lineup, the Phoenix has been amazing. Seven in a row, as you mentioned before, Dave. That's terrific. Never been to the big dance. Be unbelievable. Drexel hasn't been there for a long time, over 20 years. Butler. High low play with the winner. Right the paint. No roll this time. James Butler the grand student. Transfer from Navy, but a foul call and rebound. Elon's a terrific defensive team. Good hands. They hold their opponents to 65 points a game. The defense gets their offense going. Coming off a ball screen. Nice move. Finish. Nice job inside by Nudamba. Butler the touch. Here's the spin. There's the two. Got to get the big guy to ball. His dad was a terrific player at Navy. <clears throat> Second all time at the Naval Academy. Scoring and rebounding. Vern Butler on the 
Colonial Championship teams with none other than the Admiral David Robinson. McIntosh to drive, but no roll. And Walton defensive glass for Drexel. He went to the Elite Eight one year. Might have broken the heart of a young freshman at Syracuse named Dave Ryan that year. Is that right? You're a freshman uh, huh? Bell hangs and hits. Yep. Those are the days in the first two rounds that the higher seed hosted on campus, and David Robinson came to the dome and absolutely took over. 40 plus against the then Orangeman and Jim Beheim in the second round. Wow. It was ugly for Syracuse. But it's okay. I don't have bad memories or anything like that. Yeah. Doug Wojcik was the point guard right. on that AV team. He did a nice job. He got into a coaching career. Still working at Michigan State right now. McIntosh thinking oh. three, nailing a three from deep. 35% from downtown, McIntosh. Tremendous play, a leading scorer for the Phoenix. 50th three of the year. The team's leading scorer. He's a threat. So is this guy, Butler. Wants to extend his career. No roll this time. And Burford has a rebound. Kick out for Hannah. Long lefty three is off the mark. Not an offensive player, but really good defender and strong rebound. Great look. Do forget defense all around them. Kicked it out wide open three. Winter hesitates into the corner. Picker staff way strong. Didn't get the rim out of bounds. Leading us to a timeout. Underway 2021 CAA Men's Championship here at JMU Bell the Hoop. You're watching Brackets again, uh, exciting times, and those people are really celebrating now into the big dance. And we get another one tonight, it's right here. Repeat from Liberty Coach and the A Sun. Good yep. program there. Yep, Rich McKay's done a wonderful job. Assistant at University of Virginia for a while with Tony Bennett, He's done a great job at Liberty. McIntosh step back, hits a two. Stepping up, top guy's got to shine, big moments, McIntosh, great start. Seven of his team's nine to begin the game here. Keep going inside, the big guy touch it. I'll tell you, it's Mate Okus into the game here for Drexel for the first time. He was big last night. Fearless. Okus from Hungary, too strong on a three. He's got 24 triples this year. Here's McIntosh trying to stay hot. Follow Graham, you bet. Michael Graham, athletic. Follow for two. The boys with big key to the game. We mentioned Elon was unbelievable on the offensive class. 18 offensive boards last night. 21 second chance points for the Phoenix. That'll do it every time. And Elon's best defensive team in the conference. Points allowed. Deep. Okus for three. That wasn't the best defense in that possession, Dave, but uh, wide open three. But Okus is gigantic. Two big threes, second half. Help get him through. In the semifinals here last night, Zach Spiker said after the game, he's a hunter. He goes out and is fearless. Locked and loaded to shoot a three. Good yeah. example there. Big triple, much needed for Drexel. Feels like leather. Oakhurst is going to shoot it. <laughs> McIntosh, timer at three. Need some help. Bailout Graham. You better believe it. Michael Graham hits his first two for the Phoenix. Nice pick and roll. Good execution. Elon. Freshman from Brooklyn. I often call you Brooklyn's finest kid. So. Well, we love Brooklyn. Not going on there. Here's Butler the back end. Bigger staff will take. Had it blocked by Graham. Impact. Michael Graham for Elon. Loose change. McIntosh. Elon plays a pack line defense, Dave, which means you're really sagging in the lane. Make you beat him over the top. Tough to get to the rim against their defense. Only give up 65 points a game. Hunter Woods off the bench, the sophomore. All CAA rookie team member last year. He's a leading rebounder coach off the pine with seven boards a game. And Zach Spiker wants to talk things over with his Dragons. Time out, Drexel. Good defense very often leads to excellent offense. Elon, top defensive team. In Phoenix coach on an 11-3 run. McIntosh, 15-plus points a game in the three Colonial tourney games so far. 
And get this, Pete, 53s plus 27 wow. three-pointers to the next best Elon three-point shooter on the active roster. He is the man from deep. Yeah, no question. Elon could great. Last couple days in three days, they got 12 and 13 last two games. Winter way too strong, looking for his first bucket of the game. Stick back off the mark for Drexel. Good battle, Tim Barry, Jim Perry Jr. Chad Tim Sr. Legend at Temple, former 76er. McIntosh, everything but go down. Elon's doing a great job at the rim, protecting the basket. Interior defense has been great. Pack line D, which means they're all sagging in the lane. They let you shoot over them. Everybody's ten eyes are on the basketball. What you got to do is move the ball quickly, Dave. Side to side to side. Treat it almost like a zone because they're sagging. Eight to shoot. Here's Walton. The switch. Walton up top. Deep three. Front iron miss. Oh. Perry Jr. was undercut first. Foul called. Looks like McIntosh. Teddy Valentine with the call. Great official. Big, a long time. big time for tonight here. Yep. Gave me a G a couple of times when I was coaching Virginia. How many? A couple. A couple. I, I didn't get couple too many. ten or just a couple? A couple. Okay. Oh, I deserved them. I was counseling him aggressively at times, and he didn't like to counsel. And he's a great official. Terrific mm. crew. Roger Ayers is another tremendous official, and Tim Coma, tremendous crew. Perry Jr., tough pass to catch. Driving. No roll this time. Oh, Chris. Perry Jr., offensive glass on the fight for it. How about Burford? He was not in the plans to play a lot, Mike Shrug, he told us today. But some injuries to players above him on the depth chart. He has come through right for three. From our miss, look at Graham, coach, again. Yeah. Contributions for Michael Graham continue. He's controlling the paint, Dave, offensively and defensively. Graham's been great. Talking about Burford's day. 19 points last night for a freshman. Stick back, Perry Jr. 6'10", Cherry Hill, New Jersey, just outside Philly. That seventh overall pick of the Suns. He's got at 1,300 points and 1,100 rebounds at Temple. Great career. Burford, Graham. Not this time. Miss fires from the elbow. Winter's been really quiet, Pete. Yep. Good defense. Credit the defense by McIntosh, Dave. This is a guy you got to get going. He's a very good player. Got to get him going. Zach Walton. Like a microwave oven. Makes one, he's going to make three or four. Oh, Cruz baseline. Ten to shoot. Gurich. Can't drain it from long range. Who's got the rebound? Guess who? Graham again. I want to be his agent, Dave. He's terrific. Young player. Great. For a further freshman from the Chicago area. What a contributor. Another part of the amazing Elon story to the seven-game win streak. Woods thought about a step back three. McIntosh, eight to shoot. Watched by winner. That's a great matchup. Yes, it is. Two outstanding. Burford, long three to beat the timer. Clunk. Great half-court defense from Drexel. Winter other end pulls up and oh, splashes a deep three. There he is. Yeah. Gutty guy, first team all CAA. Every 17 points a game. Fabulous play. Got two fabulous point guards, Dave, as you mentioned. 14 points, six rebounds, four assists. Knocking off Northeastern here last night for Drexel. Elon KO, the defending champion, Hostra. A steal, and Okus has the loose change. Okus for three. Yes! Oh. Zach Spiker sent it to us, Pete, today. When it's in his hand, won't be there long. It's going to go up from deep. Timeout, Elon. He only shoots when he has it. You gotta love him. David Robinson, who won the Naismith Award as the nation's best player, of course, for Navy. Three years in a row, coach. 85, 86, 87, Navy won the Colonial Championship. Who was the 1985 Colonial Tournament MVP? That guy right there. Vernon Butler, Navy's second all-time leader and scorer behind the Admiral. Unbelievable. He's a great player himself. I remember him, Dave. A great play. It was an unbelievable combination. Center, power forward, and his son is a, a very fine player right now for Drexel. He's fired up, Dad. He knows what it's like to play in the big dance. He wants his son to experience that. 
little zone pressure here by Drexel. They're doing it, try to get Elon out of their rhythm. Try to burn some clock also. James wears the same number 51 as Vern did at Navy. Pretty cool. Laduba passing. Goes there into the game for the first time. Hits from Italy. Federico Pozer. Good quick contribution. The pick and roll. Easy to do for Butler. Now watching Vern last night, the stands here at Harrisonburg. Pete, I didn't think Vern was so emotional last night. It no. was a big day. His son yep. won the semifinals, got to 1,000 points. No, it's a big moment for him. No, the dad hung in there. I'm emotional, Dave. I cry when supermarkets open. <laughs> Burford. You learned that in the we'll Navy. You, know, you, you got to handle everything, right? You got to be flexible. Naval from Woods, not this time for Elon. So after the 11 3 Elon run, an 8 0 Drexel spurt. Winner tries to keep it going. Woods has the defensive last for the Phoenix. Burford, short on a three. A lot of contact with Poser and Butler, but no whistle. Rebound to Drexel. And Shragi, Pete told us today his team found the rhythm in mid-February, and it was so hard for anyone to find a rhythm with all the postponements, rescheduling, cancellations, Every pauses, pauses on COVID this year. Yep. Amazing. Some schools it helped, but most schools it hurt. Georgetown had a pause and one three out of four. But most schools, Dave, as you, you know, it hurt them. Five to shoot. Here's Cam Winner. Pose there. Try to bother him. Winner baseline. Long defensive rebound on the weak side for Woods. Up for Poser, too hot to handle. And it's out of bounds, turned over. We go, winner, little pick and roll. Bang, go, nice two guys go on the ball. Drop it to Butler, nice finish. Great execution by Drexel. Pick and roll, an old play, but it's a wonderful play. Tough to defend. Two guys went with the dribbler. Butler was all alone, finished it. Cam Winter said after the semifinal win last night, he and his teammates have so much confidence in James Butler. He shoots guard-like stats in practice. So when he's got the rock, they're pretty confident it's going to go in. Yep. That again. Yeah. He doesn't want to shoot well. the three. Yeah. Yep. No, that taught him well. Great genes, Dave. Great genes. But yeah, Butler's a good player. Wetzel can score from all five positions on the court, Dave. They can score point guard too. Everybody can really score. It. Nobody can cheat on. It. Bell's a freshman. Xavier Bell, former All-State high school football player and basketball player in Kansas, is caught, has to call a timeout. All tied at the Colonial. The old place was nice, but this is unbelievable. So it's going to help the coach, Mark Byington, who was my grad assistant for a couple of years right, at the University of Virginia. Yep. We got Zach Spiker, who you're very friendly with and known him a long time, Dave. A long time. He was what, like five years old or something? When wow. I was on the air in Morgantown, West Virginia. He and his brother are really good basketball players. Yep. Morgantown High, the Mohegans. Whoa, how about that one? Bell on the move. Look at that. He picked his pocket. Taken away. Maduba, tremendous defense. Right back to Elon. Like to see the Duber attack the basket. This guy's not afraid of anything. Whoa. Burford falling down, flies Hannah. The Duba up top, three. Back iron and off. Rebound for Bell. Preferred walk on at Oklahoma to play wide receiver. Wow. That's the kind of athlete Xavier Bell is for Drexel. Not bad. Okers is fearless. Up it goes, down it goes again. Give him three threes in the first half. Confidence, Dave, right? He was full. Mate Okrus. Hungary, as we said. Wow. Regular season game for Drexel against James Madison in this arena. He had five threes. All five of his shots were threes. That shot, the Duba free throw line. Count it. He's got to be aggressive, the Duba. I like him when he attacks the basket off the bounce save. He hit some floaters last night in the lane. Only a grad student from Boston, Massachusetts. Very talented. All three of the guards can really slash, penetrate, and yep. create camping. Yes, they can. Wow. Speaking of creating, there's Xavier Bell. The left hand. Nice move. State high school player of the year in Kansas. But Zach Spiker told us this week, under-recruited because he played three sports. He was constantly playing other sports other than basketball and didn't that get that much recognition. 
He's emerging though at Drexel. Hand up top thinking three ball and Drexel let him have that all night. Exactly, Dave. Took the words right out of my mouth here. All night long. Lionel Richie. All night long. <laughs> Are you gonna sing for us? I'm musically inclined, Dave, as you know. Great feet again, the two-man game. Winner to Butler, clicks for Drexel. Dragons by five. <clears throat> Six in the last eight from the field yep. as Hannah handles near the perimeter. Winner harasses him near turnover. I like to see Elon drive the basket. Too much standing around. Move the ball, move the bodies. Make it more difficult to defend. Burford, really tough shot through traffic. Excellent half court defense from Xavier Bell. Winner on the move. In transition, Cam Winner floats. Just missed too strong. Hannah, defensive rebound for Elon. You got to push it now, Elon. When you're struggling offense, push the break. The toughest thing to defend is a fast break because you're disorganized. Hannah free. This time, splash. A little closer. I'd still give him that shot, Dave, rather than have other guys, McIntosh when he's in the game, Buford, or the Duba. I don't want them shooting if I'm Drexel. Only averages three points a game, Pete. Yep. That's the scout clearly for Drexel when it comes to Hannah. Yep. He is a handful on the glass, though. Yep. Very good play. Had a great game last night. Vicker staff spin cycle move can't get the roll at Butler the double double machine not this time Wooten a big girl late in the season the last Elon regular season game beat UNCW at the buzzer grass center he been out a long time injuries and return for a buzzer beater not bad yep nice great job Naduba from the elbow he's tough Steps up. Drexel did not own the elbow, coach. No, that's that's time, my control. No. Not that time. Six foot grad student from Boston, Mass. Very talented. A two man game again. Winter kicks. Baker staff. From long range, back on miss. Look at Butler, weak side rebound, fresh 20. Bell, lefty three, airborne. Bingo! That's a great way to shoot a three, Dave. Get an offensive rebound, kick it out. Why are they so open? Because nobody knows where they are. The guys are going for the rebound, the men. Bell had just two points in the quarterfinal win over Charleston, but 11 last night. Hit five field goals against Northeastern. Hannah, high low play. Right had it stolen. What anticipation and rotation from winner. It's out of bounds. Time out. A, a great way to shoot the three is get an offensive rebound. Get in there, get in the mud, get the ball. Go after it. Then they played Northeastern. All right, they shot 41%. So they're on fire right now from downtown. Got to defend the three. Elon, if you want to go dancing, one for eight. Not very good. One of Phoenix. Zach Spiker's big keys in our call of him today, coach. Get the three, defend the three, deny the three, and so far it's working exactly. for Drexel. Yep. Naduba contested over Bell, front iron, off the mark. Perry Jr. back in the lineup for Drexel has the rebound. Yep. We talk about Elon's defense, first in the conference, and points allowed, 65, but right now Drexel's doing a great job defensively. Bell, the lefty. Backs it out, 10 on the timer. Perry Jr. with five. Travels. Good call, shuffle the feet. Tim Palmer with the call. Next with four turnovers, Elon only two. It's a clean game day. No, nope, not fun not game many. to watch so far, Pete. Exactly. 45 takes left. Opening half. Hunter Woods. 15 to shoot. Naduba. And on Naduba. Through traffic with a left off the glass and in. That's what he does best. Get to the paint. Nice move. Finish with the offhand. Got a great game here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Matched up, shot clock, game clock. Final moments, first half. Bell holds. Ten seconds. 
second differential. Well, you can shoot it. You better Here's play Walton. him. Three to shoot. Walton the step back. Deep three. Got it! There's the horn. There's the half. Zach Walton. The grad student guard of Drexel. The championship game. Only one triple in the opening half. Yep. Long way to go, but right now the shooting's a difference. Hard to imagine. No trips to the free throw line for either team in the first half. Clean game. Well, Dave, I think the referees might want to go home and see Law and Order reruns. So you never know. It was Star Trek last night. Now you're saying it's Law and Order. It's different, oh. well, different. Oh, Everybody has different exactly. TV views. <laughs> McIntosh. Right for the second three of the game for Elon. Nice save on the baseline. And keeping the play alive with Simon Wright, the lefty. And the senior captain of Minneapolis hopes this is not his last game. Well, everyone can come back, all the seniors, if they want next year. Yep, that's a great rule. Naduba, really nice take, but no finish. Came up a little bit short. Rebound for Bickerstaff. Winter hits, oh. rattles home a three. Transition triple. Cameron Winter's second three ball of the game. Seventh one. Four fouls will call Pete in the first half. That's yep. it. Clean game. We've got a great crew here. Officials do a great job. Bell, near takeaway. It's out of bounds. Elon keeps it 16 to shoot. Nice drive. Yep, he got push. Bickershift got him, yep. Yep. Transition. Winter's got time. He's got space. He's got three. Changing position for the inbounds. Coach, what do you think of the football hold through traffic? That's a relatively new move yep, in yep. basketball. You like that, protecting the rock? I like that. Well, you got it. The game's more physical now. Plays are bigger and longer. You got to take care of it. More contact. Riveting the ball to the ribcage, as yep. football coaches will tell you. Yep. Well, you got all the terminology, Dave. <laughs> I've been sleeping. Of coaches meetings over the years. Yeah, Pete. I was sleeping when you were working. So you Five to shoot. Maduba. Up top, Hannah thinking three, nails it. That's a big one for Elon. Yep, Hannah hanging around. It'll be a great game. CBS Sports Network, stick with us. It's only his fifth three ball of the year, Pete. Wow. Get the ball to Zach Walton now. He's got a size mismatch against McIntosh. Walton over McIntosh. Yeah. Cans it. You called it, Pete. Good ISO. Yeah, good ISO. Remember, hit the three. He's limping a little bit now, Zach Walton. See if he got a strain in the calf. Uh -oh. That is bad news for Drexel. Yep. Urich will replace him. Yep. Yeah, he's a terrific player. Yep, comes down on the foot of McIntosh, inadvertent. Turn the ankle. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Hopefully, they can retape it, but we'll see. Fourth of four double figure scores for Drexel. Yep. Walton takes a seat for now. Keep an eye on that. McIntosh step back with your to the game. Hits right That's away to right. take advantage of the matchup. Yep. And McIntosh cans it. He's got nine to lead the way for the Phoenix. Murch out of Toronto. Go inside. Let Butler touch it. 10 to shoot. The pick and roll. Not open this time. Bell finds Butler. Right low block. Five to shoot. Kick out Bell. Lefty three. You bet. Boom. Once again, inside out. Let the post touch it. They converge around the basketball on a low post. Kick it out. Inside out. Great basketball by Drexel. McDonald's All-American nominee. Not a lot of Big 12 and Big 10 schools showed interest. Drexel sure did. Yep. And Xavier Bell. What a story. The Duba top. But iron miss. Rebound. Guess who? It's the lefty bell. Mr. Basketball in the state of Kansas. Where was Kansas? Where's K-State? I don't know. They must have had other guys, but... Drexel loved them. Here he is, right on cue, driving the basket out this time. Hannah kept it alive for right. No, referees, they got to catch a plane. We're trained. Oh. McIntyre stays hot. He's got 11. Lawrence Bell, double figure scores in the game tonight. Yeah. Second team all colonial this year. Rookie of the year last season in the CAA. Elon's got a lockdown on defense now. Best defensive team in the CAA. 
Only give up 65 points a game. Winter, the one-on-one. -on -one. Stolen, McIntosh, we have the passing lane. Here it's nice recovery. And it stays here with McIntosh and Elon. Kick it in, kick it out. Downtown, good offense. Here we go, McIntosh, stop and go dribble. Nice pull up. McIntosh for a 15-footer. Oh, Cruz back in. Nailed three threes in the first half. And Zach Walton, coach, attended to by the Drexel trainers. That's a big storyline. Yep. McIntosh, the inbound play set for him. Can't convert from deep. And Butler, the double-double machine, has the rebound for Drexel. I go inside of Butler. Boards. Pete, sorry, so far for Butler. Yep. yep. Pick and roll again for him. Let Butler touch it now. He's working hard. Got to give the rock. Bigger staff. Pump fake. Earns a trip to the free throw. Line. Can it be? Free throws in this championship game. First time when we come back. Yes, DJ Bickerstaff, a sophomore. Straight lost to VCU in the championship game, left out of the tournament. Level well, 07, Nova, Syracuse, St. Joe's, Temple, Creighton that year they beat. Did not get an at large bid. As Walton gets checked out and trying to get checked back into the game. So it has been a long time, a quarter century for Drexel. Trying to return to the big dance in 2021. Elon has never been. Baker staff foul. Mike Shrug, he's had a lot of great experience. Part of the Duke staff that won the 2001 National Championship. Won two NITs with Johnny Dawkins at Stanford. Sweet 16 with Chris Holtman at Butler. He's had some really great big dance runs now he's trying to lead the elon ship to the ncaa tournament this year yep no question nine years with coach k you learn a lot got a lot of good buses that's what coach Rocky told us today <laughs> that was the mike krzyzewski quote yep and he's a manager for coach bob knight and oh by the way a indiana. student manager at indiana so legends of the game foul call Far there left, go. there he is, Mike Schrage. He is the Dobo, director yep. of basketball operations. Yep. And a national champion. Look at all those future yeah, all head, head coaches. coaches. All Collins at Northwestern. Yeah. Wojo at Marquette. Wojo at Marquette. Johnny Dawkins, UCF, after a really good run at Stanford. Zone Who's press. Coaching? Wow. Yep, they're great coaches. Little zone press by Elon, back to man-to-man. -man. They're trying to have their defense get their offense going. There. Stagnant a little bit. Credit, credit to deck, the Drexel defense doing a nice job. The switch. Iso Winter over Wood. Short this time. Contact. Bickerstaff Foul. and Wood. There's the Foul. battle. Perry Jr., the Watsu, gets it back. Mike Schrage is apoplectic he, he, on the Elon bench for he, a foul. It's a foul. He should call that. So is Pete Gillen. No, it's a foul. Ted to shoot. Cam <laughs> Winter. Now, there we go. Tim Thomas says, hey, little makeup. It's Bickerstaff with the whistle and the foul. Look at Mike Schrage. Boom, boom, that's something. Boom, boom, boom. You do that outside, they go to Rikers Island for two months. It's a foul. <laughs> for those not from New York, what's Rikers Island again? That's a prison. Okay. <laughs> We're not all from Brooklyn, Pete. No, I know. I'm just saying. I get a little emotional. I told you. I tried with Super Mario. Baseline, baseline, front iron miss. Harry Jr., really nice athletic defensive rebound for Drexel. Winter facilitating. Eight by seven for Bickerstaff up top. This is the guy who wants to have the ball, Pete. Yeah, tremendous player. First team all CAA, 17 points a game, second in assist, fabulous player. Eight to shoot. Was it highly recruited? Winter on Hannah. He'll drive. He'll hang. He'll Boom! Hit. On the recruited Dave. Started his third year starting. But Drexel got better and better. Tremendous player. Great job by Zach Spiker developing this young man. Absolutely. Grew up in the shadows of Hofstra. Hempstead, Long Island. McIntosh is fouled. As Drexel enjoys its largest lead of the championship yep. game. Lightning quick, hit with the left hand, crossover, protects it, 
Floater in the lane. That's a tough shot, that floater. Young players have to have that the last 15 years because shot blockers are so big and long. You can't stop two feet and go up. You got to get rid of it quick, either Great one point. foot or two. Tony Parker used to do it, jump stop, two feet in San Antonio. And, uh, Chris Paul, all right, now he's with uh, Phoenix. He does it off one foot. So either way, but you need that floater in your game if you're a guard. McIntosh, the star of the game all night. A sophomore, Snellville, Georgia. Wholesale substitutions here for the lead at eight. Mike Froggy right there. Now Zach Spiker. Both these guys done an unbelievable job. We spoke to both of them today, you and I, right? It, it couldn't be more impressed. You, you got to be. It was awesome. I like to see them. Both of them win. Both. I mean, they, they, only one could, of course, but uh, you really uh, admire both those guys. McIntosh hits the second. Mike Froggy tells us this is Team 108. is in the 108th edition of Elon Basketball. Yep. And they're trying to make this the best memory of all in Phoenix Hoops history. I love that. I've never heard that before, yeah, Dave. It's cool. Yep. My daughter went to Elon. It's a wonderful school, beautiful campus, great academically. And she enjoyed her time at Elon. Right near Greenville, North Carolina, about 20 minutes away. Walton back in. Let's see how effective he can be. Went to the touch up top. Look at the defense. Naduba Woods got a hand on it. Here's the steal. Got Burford left wing with him. Naduba floats off the glass. Too strong. Harry Jr. in transition. Good recovery. Has the rebound. Runs the floor. Trying to gather baseline. A little helter skelter here for Drexel. They'll settle on the half court. Walton's moving pretty well, coach. Yeah, he's fine. He knows. Young man, uh, he's a graduate student from Morton, Washington. So well, let's see. He's got a, a scar on his leg. With blood coming out. He's going to play. Oakhurst lost the handle, then commits the foul. He's got to stay beyond the three-point arc. That's where most effective, especially yeah. in this building. Yeah, he's a tremendous shooter. Young man from Hungary. Five title game appearances for the Tribe. Of course, they have never made the NCAA tournament. And Drexel trying for its first ever CAA tourney title. First appearance in 25 years. Elon, last year, first time Pete ever made the semifinals of the Colonial in D.C. Yep, did a great job. Mike Froggy, still the program. For Simon Wright, the co-captain. Elects not to go up with it. He's been really offensive-minded in this tournament, not tonight. Naduba, 10 to shoot. Kick out for Woods with six. On Walton, between the legs, launches a three. It's way off. Wow. I think he's coming out pretty soon after that shot, Dave. Winter, two-man game. Perry Jr. catches and lays it in. We saw that. Saw that in the first half. Pick and roll. No rotation. We cleared the side, Dave. On the left side, and no, we got to get help. The other side, got to get in the lane, get in the paint, help out on that roll. Just like that, Tim, right? What a player he was. The Duba, a little hesitation. And up he goes, in it goes with the right for Ikenna Naduba. Nice move to the rack. Big guy get it. Barry Jr. kick out for Winter. Two-man game on the reposts. Perry Jr. lost it, regains, can't lay it in from point blank range. Another crack at it, and he's fouled. Wins the battle of the offensive glass. Timeout in Harrisonburg, Virginia, from the Atlantic Union Bank Center. Drexel looks good. Bell, 10 points, leading scorer for Drexel right now. Heck of a player. It's only a freshman from Wichita, Kansas. Long way to go to Philly. Right now, all smiles right room. now. He's smiling. <laughs> They're pretty happy on that dragon bench. That's Michael told us this week. He's talented. And really yep. finished with force, playing with confidence, getting better every bounce. Yep. And that's what you want to see a freshman do in March. Yep. It's a long way from Wichita, Kansas to Philadelphia. I mean, think about that. Wichita State is backyard. Kansas, K State, all the Big 12, Big yep. 10 schools. And yep. Well, sometimes other players, you know, are there. Right. Programs might have oh, guys yeah. in his position. Oh, yeah. So, uh, 
situational, I realize, but yep. no, but great uh, for Drexel. No, no question. Yeah, Zach's got it from all over, different countries, right? Oh, he doesn't. He's got to compete with Villanova and some of the schools there in Philly. It's not easy. The city six in Philly, right? I mean, yep. it's tough. Yep. Done a great job there. Yep. Now Philly. I worked at Villanova for two years. A great place. Woods ISO finishes second field goal of the game for Hunter Woods. Fifth best rebounder in the Colonial Pete off the bench for Elon. That's a great job yep. on the glass. Tremendous. How about back of the game? Urich drives. It's Butler. Watch by right at the high post. Tend to shoot. Two man game again. The pick and roll, but yep. kind of a wild pass. Burford read it perfectly yep. and makes the pick. That time they had help. Good help that time. Right out of the end. Thinking left and three. But I miss. Burford loose change. Fresh 20. And the freshman on the bounce. There's a lot of control there. Had right. But the pass was tough to catch. It's turned over. No, all right. You're the boss. I'm just a small soldier in this army. Mike Trogge, very impressed with him, Dave. Second year, he's got him in the championship game. First time ever in the CAA. He started NAIA, as you know, a long time. There was a two for a while. A D1 since 1999-2000. He talks to us today about a team being so connected and finding the rhythm after that long losing streak. And they are trying to make the four-day run. Never been done in CAA history. Reverse layup. Winner, not this time. Woods has the rebound. McIntosh, Tony Duba, 15 to shoot. Transfer from Bryant, hesitates. Nice move. The time they switch. Ocro switched onto the point guard. He got a big guy and a point guard, Dave. Mismatch. It was a mismatch. No chance there for Ocro to defend him. Nope. Duba lays it in. Five point game. They try to go back to Zach Walton. See if he's got something left. In the corner. Good Short look. on a three. Yep. It was a good look. Yep. Coming off the leg injury. Three point game shoot. tonight. Yep. McIntosh, other end, pulls up short. New is short. But Butler, great anticipation yep. for yet another rebound. Three point shooting. You need your legs and your ankles, so it might be a little sore, so you a little short in that shot, Zach Walton, but you got a good look. A do with a hustle. Winter the want to. Stays with Drexel. Ted Valentine right on the call. He was right there. Nice. Terrific official. Drexel by five. Elon has had a great run here, coach. First round took down Towson. The offensive rebounding stats. Mike Schrage told us I had a chance to call that game. Were fabulous four offensive boards for the aggressive Tigers. Then they knocked off James Madison, the top seed, even though their best player is out for the year with an injury. Hoster, the defending champs, KO'd last night. He loves the defensive effort through the three games. No one ever in colonial history, Pete, has won four in four days to win the title. It's tough. It's, it's a lot of four games in four days. Drexel, because they seeded higher, only have three games in three days. So big difference. Bell to take, no two, but he's fouled. Wrestling move. From Xavier Bell. Simon Wright picks it up. Dave, I want to congratulate the AD at Drexel, Eric Zilmer. He's been there for 23 years, six long tenure, AD in the nation. He's retiring now in a couple of months, so it'd be a great send off for him if Drexel could finish the deal here. But still a long way to go. Long way to go. Congrats on a great career at Drexel. Only four for six on the year for Bell entering this game tonight from the line. No free throw attempts in the first half, as we talked about for either team. Now a total of eight. How about that? Tracks are four six. Elon's hit its two from the strike. Laduba floats and hits. Tough shot. Young men can Scoring in the lane, it's amazing how they can do it. Off the glass, in contact. For a six-foot guard. Amazing. Two He's possession got 14, game. beat the lead, Elon, and all scores. Yep. 13 for McIntosh, Butler, pump fake on Hannah. Great Utah. defense by Hannah. 
Walton hits a three. How about that? Bad ankle and all. He's not 100%. He doesn't care, Pete. No. It's the championship game. Exactly. Well, Sleep that Spiker's message? Finish this. To us today, Nadula with the left. Not this time. Butler has a rebound. LJ. Got 32 career double doubles. Butler has 6.8 rebounds tonight. He'd give all those stats away, Pete. The thousand plus points, 800 plus rebounds for a championship. Yep. Drexel wants it. So does Elon. Seven to shoot for Butler. Walton's feeling it. He wants to shoot it. Long range shot. Way off there for Walton this time. Leading us to a break. A right, little wind in that part of the court, Dave. So, my, the, Zach Walton's a terrific shooter. Grad student from Morton Walton. As they break down matchups, highlights, and projections as bracket week continues right here on CBS Sports Network. John Rossney, Pete, calls it anarchy. John, this time of the year. He's amazing. He doesn't sleep. I don't know what he does. He just, uh, on the phone, is the hardest working guy I've ever seen in inside college basketball. It's just unbelievable. He spits out facts. Our insider is he and Gary Parrish. Yeah, and Gary's again, great, too. Gary's great. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah minds like traps there. Unbelievable. Elon trying to win eight straight and a championship. Perfect. Too strong. Loose change. Baker staff hands to Winter. Perfect struggling freshman. What Al McGuire said about freshmen. The best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. So Perfect was great last night. Struggling this evening. No points. 0 for 5 for Darius Perfect in this championship game. Can't give him a shot. It's Burford again. That's his man. Mate Okrus from deep. Wow. Four threes. For Mate Okrus tonight from Hungary. Team's got 10 threes. Elon's got two. Butler hand the rebound. Knocks off the hand of Burford. It's out of bounds. All the hustle in the world for McIntosh can't get there. We mentioned five threes for Oak Cruz the last time that Drexel came here in the regular season against James Madison. Five for five from three. And he's got four in this game. Young man from Hungary. Catch and shoot. Terrific. A three last night. Big shots in the second half. Fifth Drexel player ever to go five for five from three in a game. That was against James Madison. Here's a steal. Two for Burford. His first bucket of the game. Still a long way to go. Elon's got to tighten up the D. Drexel execute. Let Butler touch it. Go inside to the big guy. Let the big dog eat. Give him the ball. I cannot Maduba with a big steal. Burford, the benefactor. Urich foul. When you're struggling offensively. Your defense got to get your offense going. Nice hustle. Get on the floor. Nice pass. Burford, first two. 19 last night. Only two this evening. Better the defense by Drexel. One of five in the semifinal win over Hofstra. Double figures. Burford, the effort again with Urich who commits the foul. The freshman getting a little spicy afterwards. Yep. As he tries to get into the face of Matej Juric, yep. you do not want to get a technical. His no. veteran teammates drag him away from the yep. confrontation. Yep. Good hustle. It's a piece of it. Just going for the ball. You get a little angry. Uh -oh. right, you calm down. Easy. It's good officiating, though. Easy. Roger Ayers calm him down. Great. This way, terrific crew. Colonial rookie team for Burford out of the Chicago land area. Not to shoot on Okus. He's a lot quicker. Yeah, I get him again. I think go by Okus. Do it to the basket. Blocked by Butler. And out of bounds. Seven on the timer here for the Phoenix. Every possession now is crucial for Elon. Zach Spiker. Follow with John Beeline. Learn a lot from John Beeline. Great coach Steve Dunio, another tremendous coach. At the University of Pennsylvania, he worked with him when Steve was at Cornell before he went to BC. Now at Pennsylvania, doing a great job. Woods penetrates, slot contact, 
Gets the roll off the glass. He and Butler came together. No whistle. They went chest to chest there. That could have been offensive. Looked like he jumped into him, but good call. Play on. Could have been a block. Could have been a charge. Yep. It's nothing. Play on. It's CAA, baby. Play on. Three possession game. The championship at stake. Yep. Better play Oakwood. Leave him alone. It's history. Got four threes. Bickerstaff almost stolen. Skip pass. Okrus. Urich, four to shoot. On the baseline. To block. Of contact. No whistle. And Butler. No. Shot clock violation, says Ted Valentine. And they may go right to the review here. That was awfully close. Yep. Called on the court. A shot clock violation. Let's take a look yep. here, Pete. I thought it was a block beforehand. Now let's see. Tough to tell. I didn't see the light. He has one second. And it looked like it was too late. Too late. Too late. Okay. Elon, credit their defense. That's what they do best. They hold people at 65 points a game. That's a big stop. They only score 66, so defense got to get them going for the Phoenix. McIntosh, the pick from right. Lefty captain, Simon Wright. Maduba in the paint. Woods thought about a three travels yeah. Do what you can do don't try to do too much On the fourth turnover of the game for Elon Pete they've really played a clean game here tonight 12 miscues Five. for Drexel it's fine. It's fine. The winner is off to the big dance as colonial champs I get the ball to Zach Walton give him a screen. He'll bury the three Ocros, baseline, good cut, Yurich hits! Great pass by Ocros. Mate to Mate. And Yurich, the finish. Herford, nice through traffic. Maduba lost his footing. Look at the half-court defense here. McIntosh, a bump for winner, no whistle. Big possession for the Phoenix. McIntosh step back over winner. Ah, oh, come on. Share the ball now. I go inside to Butler again. I don't think I got him inside. I don't think Wright can guard Butler if he touches it down low. Cut Okrus, but it's off his arm out of bounds. 315 standing between Drexel and its first big dance bid in a quarter century. A motion or best wishes to a speedy recovery to Joe Mahout, the great coach at Hofstra. The defending champs prior to this year knocked out last night on temporary medical leave. Mike Farrell did an amazing job leading Hofstra this year in his stead. We wish Joe the best and hope to see him again next year. Yeah, Joe's a great coach, a wonderful guy, a longtime coach, paid his dues and did a wonderful job at Hofstra. Once again, Dave, I agree. Hope he gets better soon. So tough for Hofstra. Could not compete, of course, in the NCAA tournament. Last year it was canceled. The winner of this one is off to the big dance. Maduba, 10 on the timer. Watched by Walton with a left. It was blocked. Jack Walton got a piece. Bad ankle and all. Big play. Big play, Pete. Graduate student, so his last time around the block. He could come back, but I don't think he will. The grad. Two-time high school player of the year. The state of Washington went to a JUCO there. And the Drexel. A big okay, piece uh, of a potential right. championship run here. Okay. Winter. Free throw line jumper not there. Butler was tied up by a couple of Phoenix players grappling for rebound position. Darius Burford blocked away. Good play. Just reading, putting the hand out there yeah. was Winter. Yep. Yeah. Nice heads up. And he got a piece for the steal. One of the best plays in the CAA. First team all league. Does it all. Defense, offense. He's a leader. Two minutes on the clock here, Pete. You taste it. As a coach now. Coaching a lot of these championship games. And I was at Xavier and seven of them. So you can't wait to go quick enough. Winter with right all over him. Tough angle. Simon Wright is fouled by Butler. Right. We talked about the great defense of Elon during the year, but how about that now? Winter just heads up, trying to keep the ball away from McIntosh. Great job. By Cam Winton. That'll go in the film study, right? Yeah, now. Deflections. Heads up, boy. Trying to keep the ball away from 
Just keep your arms Back out. Back in touch, yeah. Wasn't even looking at the ball. Nope. Got a piece. Nice move. What a play to the basket. I cannot, Naduba, the and one. Talk about much needed for Elon. Chance for a three-point play. Yep. Nice crossover. Boom. It goes by Jurich. Giant hoop. Naduba, Pete. 14 yep. points, 10 rebounds. Semifinal win last night over Hasra. It was the first double-double for any Elon player this year. Wow. Yep. They are not the biggest team. No, but they're not. they defend at a high level. Yeah. And we talked about the rhythm that Mike Schrag has been able to establish this year after that. It could have been just completely disruptive losing streak earlier in the year. It's amazing. Losing a whole bunch in a row. Eight, eight in a row. Eight in a row. And then he won seven in a row coming into tonight's game. That's amazing. Naduba cannot complete the three-point play. Yep. Good possession game now. And get a stop if you're Elon. Your Drexel get a good shot. Five fouls, Elon. Six fouls, Drexel. Under 96 left. Fading second half clock. Here, James Madison. I go inside the Butler. Go down low, Butler. They double kick it out. Seven on the timer. Huge possession. Walton can't hit. Butler, the rebound is fouled. And shoots free throws here for Drexel. That was a big O rebound. No question. Butler getting the, that rebound was crucial. Drexel's the best rebounding team in the CAA by rebounding margin. That was a giant one. James Butler, two for two from the line tonight, has nine rebounds, adding to his tremendous career in Philly. And one more free throw coming up in a two possession game. His dad is very patiently. <laughs> calmly watching the biggest game of his son's career what a stretch he had at navy playing alongside the admiral david robinson winning three colonial championships winning ncaa tournament games for the mids now his son wearing the same jersey number it's the free throw big free throw now three possession game McIntosh at the rim. Big three. Hands wow. it for Elon. That was huge. The money man, leading scorer, stepped up. Timeout by Shragi. Four point game with 56.8 to go in regulation from Harrison Burr. Don't go away. A title's at stake. Only shooting 20% from downtown. They usually shoot about 32%. So, uh, but that was a big one for McIntosh. Mike Shragi doing a Tremendous job, only his second year at Elon, getting to the finals of the CAA. The terrific league, excellent coaches, beautiful facilities. Winter inbounds. Pressure him now, he's not a great ball handler. Gross across the line, and there's the whistle and the call. There he is, Burford picks it up. One and one, 17 foul. And now it's free throw time for the great three point shooter, Mate Okruz. He's only been to the line, Coach, four times all <laughs> season. He lives outside. It's hard to believe. Yep. Hits it. Yep. He doesn't care to miss much, this guy, but he doesn't want to go inside. Anyway. Drexel. Yep. Was 10 for 10 down the stretch yeah. last night in the semifinals. Yeah. Oak Cruz to the line, cans two big ones to make it a six point game. Two possession game. Butler comes out because they got to defend the three. That's why they're going with quickness. Butler's a heck of a player, but he's a big guy. Maduba through traffic, lost it. Woods, loose change. I can't have to do that. 20 to shoot. Launches over Okrus. Way too strong. Her for offensive rebound. Baseline. Nope. Well, the hand on it. Out of bounds. Yeah, Burford, just not his night tonight, Dave. Last night, great. 19 points tonight. A struggle. Two points, one of seven shooting for Burford. Was brilliant in the semifinals. 
Situational substitutions now for Zach Spiker. James Butler returns. As a coach, it's painful. 33 seconds, Dave. It's an eternity. Trying to cut down the nets. Zach Spiker, Patriot League Coach of the Year at Army 2013. Brought the cadets to the postseason for the first time since the Mike Krzyzewski days in the 70s, but not the NCAA tournament. This could be his first trip to the dance tonight. Yep. Woods inbounds play. Huge three airborne. Back iron miss. <coughs> Jurich the rebound. <coughs> 28.6 seconds standing between Drexel and his three. Last minute four of the game against the 2019 champs Northeastern. They put it away from the line. We saw Okris hit his two a moment ago. Now it's Yurich. 79% for the line of the year. That was smooth, Pete. That was smooth. Yeah, money. It's easy money day for him. Drexel leads the CAA in free throw shooting. Coming into the game, 77%. Just saw Zach Spiker's wife, Jan, 11 years, an assistant coach at West Virginia in this soccer program there, helped recruit a team that went to the Sweet 16 and Elite Eight. Zach is so proud of her accomplishments as a soccer coach in his hometown of Morgantown, West Virginia. ECU lost in 2003 to UNCW. They have been to the title game in this league, but they've never won it. That might change tonight for Drexel. Yep. You want to commit a foul now, Drexel. Make him make a shot. Elon, go to the basket. Let you have a wide open three. Three possession, eight points. Go to the rim. I cannot, Naduba. McIntosh floats. No roll. Rebound, Walton. And there's a foul. Oh, there's the tie up. No foul. Possession arrow goes the other way to Drexel. 18.2 seconds left on the clock. What a battle for Zach Walton. Yep. That should do it now. He's got to get the ball in bounds. Walton does so. Naduba hassles him along with Winter. And a foul is a timeout called. Winter struggles to get the ball out of the corner there. Right all over him. 14.5. Great job. Mike Draghi did a great job. Elon. He's got a terrific future there building that program. Final moments here for Drexel. Can they put this game away or can Elon make an amazing comeback with under 15 seconds to go? Tough to watch Relon fans trying to make history themselves and bring back their first ever CAA crown. Last year made the first ever Colonial semifinal run. Beat the two seed William Mary. Beat James Madison in D.C. Okrus inbounds. Yurich gathers and is fouled. Almost two full seconds. Pete went off the clock there. Yep. I like how Yurich is hustling with the free throw line here. Confident. Yep. Hit both free throws so far tonight. Again, Again from Toronto. Yep. Best free throw shooting team in the CAA all year. 77%. That's amazing. And they're even better down the stretch. 10 for 10 down the stretch last night. 5 for 6 tonight. There's another. 6 for 7. As Yurich, the junior from Toronto, brings Drexel closer up by 9. Trying for history. Calm, cool, collected. Matej Juric, the junior, cans two. Lead is 10 for Drexel. Naduba from deep, front iron miss. It's loose. Rebound pulled down from Bell. Whistle with one second left on the clock. That's all that's standing between Drexel yep. and the Colonial Championship. The refs won at the end, but he fouled.
One second left. There's McIntosh. Hits it. But that is that. Drexel is going back to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 25 years. Philly, it's time to celebrate.